This is the second in a series of four short presentations about the annual plan 2023-2024. This presentation deals with Council's proposal, which we are consulting on. This slide shows that over recent years, we have had relatively modest rates of revenue increases, including a 0% rate increase in 2020 and 2021, uh, following the COVID uh, restrictions. Our proposal, as you may have seen in the media, it, it, for 2023-24 is a rates of revenue increase of 9.06%. This is higher than our cap in um, the, the council set itself in its financial strategy. And this is driven largely by a series of external factors. I covered these factors that are primarily driving up the council's costs in the first presentation. Inflation is affecting all of us. Um, we had anticipated inflationary increases in the council's 10 year plan, but inflation has, uh, is, is much higher than we had anticipated. Similarly, interest rates are higher than we had predicted in the 10 year plan. And this is the result of the Reserve Bank taking action to try to control inflation. Um, we have staff pressures so that across the country, there's a shortage of skilled staff, which is driving up salaries in conditions. And finally, um, depreciation costs are increasing. So this is the funding that we collect to replace assets when they end their lives. Um, and because the value of the assets have gone up, the cost to replace them is higher. We have to collect more funding in, from that source through rates. As I noted earlier, the proposal is for a rates revenue increase of 9.06%. Uh, this is um, a level that Council's not arrived at lightly or feels particularly comfortable about. Um, but as uh, I commented on the last slide, it's largely driven by some external cost factors. Uh, I think if you look around the country, you'll find there are a number of other councils uh, looking at rates increase of a similar magnitude. Uh, they are also affected by similar sorts of pressures. Um, to get to the, 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 the proposal, we, we have looked at a number of budget reductions and proposing a number of budget reductions and proposing an increase of 10% uh, in our uh, fees and charges. Um, we also considered a number of other options that, to help reduce the, the rates increase further. Um, and I'll talk further about those and why the council decided against them in the third one of the ones of these presentations. In arriving at this proposal, the council has tried to balance the need to continue to provide important services to our community with rates of portability. As you'll see, we're pro pro proposing some alterations to what we'd planned for next year in, in Tasman's 10 year plan. Um, that's to help uh, Redu help reduce the impact of, on rates affordability. As, and again, as noted previously, the rates increase is higher than we had planned for, for next year and higher than the cap in our financial strategy. To arrive at the proposal, the Council has, has identified a number of across the board changes, budget reductions and increases in fees and charges revenue. So we'll talk you through those briefly. So firstly, in terms of our day-to-day -day direct operating budgets, these budgets have not increased uh, at the same pace as inflation over the last couple of years. So effectively, their buying power has reduced by 8.8% over the last couple of years. Despite this, we've frozen those budgets, at, or most of those budgets, at the previous year's level and only inflated by 1% less than the forecast inflation level. Uh, effectively, this reduces their buying power further. Uh, this means we'll need to operate more efficiently uh, and we'll have to pull back on some work which is of lower priority. Um, we'll have less capacity also to respond to uh, unexpected events and to respond to requests from, from, uh, from the public. We've reduced our planned uh, new staff appointments. So in the 10 year, in Tasman's 10 year plan, we had I had planned and budgeted for 11 new positions in the next year. This has been reduced to six uh, that are funded by rates. Uh, in addition to that, there are a number of other new positions 
that are being funded by government funding so they don't affect rates so they have no impact on the rates revenue increase and then thirdly we're increasing our fees and charges so we apply fees and charges where the benefits of a service apply to an individual uh, or organization again over the last couple of years we've under inflated uh, our our fees so they haven't increased at the same pace as inflation so we are proposing to make a bigger increase of 10 percent for most fees and charges on this occasion uh, to catch up um, this will affect those people who are purchasing those services um, but unlike rates people have a choice whether or not they use those services more information is available at shape tasman and we are consulting on our full schedule of fees and charges in addition to the across the board uh, budget changes to arrive at our proposal, we have made a number of activity specific changes. And again, I will talk you briefly through some of these. Um, so we are planning to use better off funding to offset some of, our, of the planned costs. Um, as part of the Three Waters Reform Program, we've benefited from some government funding called Better Off Funding. We're proposing to use $500,000 of this to offset the costs of implementing the Water Services Act next year and to reduce the pressure on rates. Um, we have lowered the budget for three waters maintenance. So again, we're doing this to help reduce the pressure on rates. Um, so we're reducing the budget. So it must be clear we're not eliminating the budget altogether. We're just taking them down a bit. Um, so these are the budgets that we use to react to immediate uh, maintenance issues, such as leaks and those sorts of things. Um, if we need to carry out urgent repairs because there's a leak uh, during the year, that will be carried out. And um, potentially we may go over budget end, at the end of the year. So effectively, we're increasing the, the risk um, around this budget, um, but we'll continue to deliver the right level of service. Um, we're also proposing to reduce the budgets for some routine maintenance on drains and creeks. So again, it's not the whole budget, just reducing the amount of provision we're making. Um, this has some potential risk in terms of reducing the capacity in drains and channels in a high rainfall event. Because both of these savings are in the Three Waters area, we will need to seek approval from the Three Waters Transitional Unit. Um, so that will be happening in parallel with the uh, with the consultation. So the third area is around our river management. So again, we're proposing to reduce some budgets to ease the pressure on rates. Uh, again, not the whole budget. Um, so this will re reduce our capacity to main maintain the rivers that the council manage. So those rivers are the Waimea, Motueka, Riwaka, Mutari, Takaka, Aadeli rivers and their tributaries. It will also reduce the funding that we provide to assist private landowners to manage rivers over their land during the next year. The next area is around slowing our program to reduce stormwater from entering the wastewater system. So stormwater gets into the wastewater system due to either incorrect plumbing or breaks in the wastewater pipes. Uh, this contributes to wastewater overflows when there are heavy rainfall events, um, which affects both the environment and public health. Um, so we have a program uh, over a number of years to try and identify those breaks and those leaks and, and that um, incorrect plumbing and to fix those problems. In this case, we're proposing to slow that program down in, in the next year uh, to ease the pressure on rates. And then the next area is about reducing renewals of our parks and garden assets. So we're planning to again, reduce the budget that we have to replace these, these assets. So such, such things as park furniture uh, for the next year. So what this means is that for the assets that reach the end of their life over the next year, uh, we will be unable to replace them on a one for one basis. Again, the intention is to reduce the pressure on, on rates. In the consultation document, we deal with, with four other activity specific uh, reductions. So just I'll just talk to those very briefly. So we're talking about not increasing the, the level of depreciation on our three waters assets. So maintaining that at the same level, we have been gradually stepping that up. Um, again, that's one that we need the approval from the three waters transition unit for. 
we're planning to discontinue the Mud Cakes and Roses, uh, which is an over 50s uh, magazine, um, and also the funding for the Found Directory. The Found Directory is a directory of community organisations and venues uh, in the Nelson Tasman area. Um, we are also planning to reduce the business planning for Three Waters, so again, because many of much of that is transitioning to the new Three Waters entity, we feel we can reduce the budget provision that we have for that. Um, and we're also looking to rephrase, rephase uh, some of the, some parts of our digital innovation program. The more details are provided on each of those in the consultation document. So our proposal is a rates revenue increase of 9.06%. Uh, that's the amount of additional rates income the council will, will receive. It does not mean that all properties will get a 9.06% rates increase. In some cases, it will be lower than that. In some cases, it will be higher. So why is that? Well, the impact of impact on individual properties will vary depending on the property value, the property type, the location, and the services that the property receives. So not, not all properties will get the same uh, rates increase next year. This table shows the proportion of properties that will receive rates rises of different sizes in the next year. If you want to find out how your property will be affected directly, you can visit our rates calculator at the Council's website. You should now understand the Council's proposal and the savings and changes that it's making to arrive at that proposal. You may have views on both uh, that you want to share with the Council. So there are a number of ways that you can do that. A great place to start is to go to our Shape Tasman webpage. Um, the, uh, the web address is on the slide in front of you. So missions close on the 30th of April, and so there are multiple ways that you can make a submission. Thanks for listening. Uh, the next, next uh, one of these presentations will deal with some of the options the council considered but decided against to reduce rates revenue further.